Hey everyone, it's Dr. John Burroughs at Springs Aesthetics. I wanted to uh, briefly discuss the male upper blepharoplasty. I'm an oculofacial plastic surgeon in Colorado Springs, and blepharoplasty is one of the most common surgeries I perform. So this is a gentleman who, uh, before his surgery, you can see he had some hooding. It's not uncommon for the hooding and the excess skin to droop downward and laterally at the corners. He also was bothered that it was starting to come down somewhat over his pupils, which uh, made him look tired or angry. So he wished to have this tissue addressed, but he didn't want to uh, change really his eyebrow positions or where they're at. He didn't want to have them raised up, which can look more effeminate. So we devised a plan whereupon we did a upper blepharoplasty to remove some of the excess skin but as you start to droop out here you won't want to go too much on your skin removal or you're going to pull the brows down quite a bit so again his goal was to get the skin lifted up so he could see better look better look more alert but he didn't want to uh, drop his eyebrows at the same time and he didn't want them raised up a bunch so that can be a challenge so basically we took out some excess skin conservative amount and from underneath we did uh, sutures to elevate and stabilize the eyebrow fat pads to keep his brow in a good position. So you can see following his surgery he has nice elevation of these areas without a significant change of the brow positions. You can also see that the typical brow aesthetic is that it's relatively flat and it's much lower uh, on men than in women. And after surgery, you can see that he has a nice horizontal brow, it hasn't been changed significantly, it's still masculine, and you can see that by the way his incisions were done, he still looks like a handsome male. So he was quite pleased with this, and I just thought I would share that briefly with you. This is approximately six weeks after his surgery. Hope everybody's having a great day, and I hope I um, stimulated some interest and helped answer some questions about the male upper blepharoplasty. Thanks for tuning in.